thanks for stopping by for the next step in the Jeep Grand Cherokee project, the Golden Jeep as we're calling it. It's a 1999 and we're restoring this puppy into proper working condition so we can party like it's 1999. But you remember the last video, we actually just got the Jasper engine in, but there's something we needed to do today because when we got this and we were driving it, there was a few issues, including the tech that was working on this who had said, well, it was a little scary. My name is Uncle Jake. By the way, if you're new to the channel, again, that man down there is Dr. Torque doing some work here. And the issues were, were in the steering, the steering department. Well, first of all, it's not steering, it's drivetrain. Drivetrain? Okay, 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 fair enough. Let's talk about what the difference is because most people would, I think, associate steering drivetrain, maybe not know the difference. Steering makes your tires go rrr, 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 rrr. Mm -hmm. and drivetrain makes the tires go brrr. Oh. Drivetrain issues, which certainly would affect the steering, sort of, right? I mean, because when we were turning, it was making some serious noises. Well, it was turning because these are actually driving the front wheels all the mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm. This little thing here turns something that turns wheels. But anyway, yeah. when you went around corners, you heard. <laughs> and so he took that baby apart. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be broken open like that. No, one. this is supposed to be a boot, and it's supposed to be filled with grease. And it's not supposed to make those noises. Yeah, that's that's the most important part. So that is way worn out in there. Which again is why the tech was like, I was trying to run some tests and drive it and I got a little afraid. So I, I didn't feel comfortable taking it on a long test drive. No. So, had to run to the store because, well, it's dark that way. Let me spin you around this way. Did you get dizzy? I hope not. Because he, he set me on a mission where I had to get a replacement. Well, not a replacement, just we needed to match this washer. It's very thick and it has a very large opening. And so trying to match diameter and thickness and opening, we thought it was gonna be pretty hard and it kind of was, I had to look around a lot, but uh, our friends over at the Home Depot had this baby right here. I had to look around for a lot. And then I parked out there, which was really fun. It's great about working and living in upstate Idaho, as I like to call it, you get to have fun parking opportunities if you have a proper vehicle. So let's get this to Tom. Let's dig into the other side. So anyway, okay. I'm gonna start all right. transferring awesome. all the garbage that I had on the other side over here. It's the learning set. So I can get uh, started tearing it apart. I love it. Let's go. Okay, so that spring is, it's really just spring. Wow, it isn't, there's nothing except a spring. It's just spring loaded. Yeah, it like goes in these two holes. And then these parts, you know, use yeah. spring force to put them back Hold in there. there. That's yeah. And then tip is to get a little ratchet strap or bungee strap or some kind of strap, probably bungee. So, oh. and now it holds it up, and so you don't have to worry about your brake line falling down and getting damaged from the weight of that. You just can't leave it dangling. The brakes, you know, it's kind of important. I need to get these bigger. Thingies. Which, which one's that? This bolt right here and this bolt right here hold this caliper bracket on. Okay. I'm okay. going to take those off and then, then <laughs> after that, <laughs> I'll need to do the three that hold the hub on. So two of them are right here that you can, there's one right here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sweet. Done. Get how you got those, those, stu those stupid brake problem is gone. Ball joints in the way, man. Yeah, it is. Do you need like an adapter down in my ratchet? Over there somewhere is a white handle for a jack. Somewhere, white. <laughs> Holy biscuits, really? Wow. That really was. I mean, that's a lot of leverage right there. Sheesh, and it's still that tight? Yeah. Boy. I guess I got lucky on the other side where they came off fairly that's easy. That's crazy, man. Everybody on the video is just like, oh, this is really hard. I'm like, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. On that side? Yeah, on the passenger side. It's nice of you to save the hard one for the video portion. Is it still that bad? Yeah. Crap, dude. This side is rustier than the other side. That other side, that boot gave loose and spewed grease oh, all over everything. It was like, yeah, it was nice, I bet. Probably a built-in feature for Jeep. Once it starts to rust, it's designed to break apart and spread the oil. <laughs> spread, <laughs> spread, spread the, the joy. grease. <laughs> spread the joy. 
No, it doesn't look very rusty in in the on the shaft part. I guess there's some threads there, but well, it looks what? like up here is where it was kind of binding. Oh, binding. So it wasn't even that it was rusty. It was just weirdly tight and bound up. Weird. That was, that was in there. Yeah, that was in there. All, All right. right. Okay. Cool. Done. What's the next step? Two more of those. <laughs> Two more of those. Simple as that. We'll be right back. Those three bolts are out. Yeah. And now I'm we're hoping doing to pull the hub and rotor off together. So right. I don't like have to deal there. with the fact that they're fused together with rust. Yeah, that would be very nice. So I'm going to bang on it a little bit. Bound on that sucker. That is loud. In my continued attempt to help, I'm breaking off more and more pieces of that cotter pin on the front side and the back side here. I've got it where it's about flush, so now I'm going to attempt to press this out. And as Tom said, it'd be really nice to get this bracket out of the way, but to do that, we have to get this bolt out. Right. The nut. And we yeah, had ain't a bolt. Why'd you call it that? Mm. I don't know. So I'm going to try to keep tapping that out. Tappy tap is somebody that you always say says. Tap, tap, tap. Let's I think it comes from Adam Sandler on that golf movie. <laughs> just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tap. Oh, oh, it does. That's totally an Adam <laughs> That's even better. Tap it, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> okay, let's tap it, tap this right on out of here. Oh, you got that. Well, there we go. That's out now. Stupid, difficult cotter that just, pin. That just bolt. proves that Jake actually got the cotter pin out. Yeah, that does prove it. And I got the bottom one out too, except that's not very tight. Oh, oh gosh, that's that's crazy tight still. Man, that's that was on there. You were not even messing around. You had to get the giant persuader out. Cool. That's way pressed down. I mean, that's got to be now. It's just not. Would it do this like kind of pop up or off? Or? The, bo the bottom side should go down also, but maybe. It's not. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. You just had to get serious and be a man with it. Did you get that on film? Oh, you know it. Good. I got your manliness in full display. Pop. Sweet. Oh, and yeah, yeah, that sucker came all the way apart. Okay, nice. All right, so now what? We're going to slide this forward and... Right. Right, my job. On. My job. You had one job, Jake. I had one stinking job. Now, you want it just like that, or you want me to put the other... Um, move the block further in since it's yeah that's so that's what i was gonna say i'll put two up there now yeah good enough i guess yeah enough for government work <laughs> so this boot doesn't look all that damaged but you do well there it is there's damage by my thumb oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you squeeze it looks hey. like beaker me, me, me. to use that type of ball joint separator you have to plan on the boot being ruined yeah, tip. Pro, pro tip. Just buy it. It's going to happen. So, what we need to do is actually press this ball joint up. Yep. And so I've got this ball joint press kit thing that I got on Amazon or somewhere. It's supposed to fit most American 4x4s. Does not have everything necessary to do this vehicle. Yeah, but apparently the comments were right there. Similar. <laughs> Similar with other vehicles, it really isn't most. But for my grandpa's stuff. Love it, more grandpa. I have this socket here. It's actually like an eight point socket. Yeah. So it's made for doing square things. But in any case, it has a large enough, it's a three quarter inch socket. Okay. So it's large enough to fit over this. Okay. Which is important because if you press up, you need to. Yeah. Whatever. Actually, as I press up, it'll be fine. But anyway, you need to have something to press into so this kit, this kit comes with different size thingies, whatever they're called. I need the med medium one here to fit around the whole thing for this part of what we're doing. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So it actually is resting on this doohickey here, yeah, but no, not no. on this lip here. Yeah, so that so that piece is a really good size, actually. And then, since I'm going to be pressing with this 
That's a big... Like this? Okay, right. I need to have one of these enclosed thingy bobs. So mm -hmm. this rides in here. Okay, it's a piece for that. And then... Is that has, from this kit? This is all from this kit so far, except for that big socket. Did you buy this one or rent this I one? I bought this oh, one. This one's a bot. Okay. So this has ribs to fit different size things. Okay. That goes there. That goes right there. And then this is going to go on here like this. I'm going to have to extend it out a little bit. Oh, and another piece of advice. Always grease these. Um, oh, yeah. Threads. Threads. Otherwise, mm -hmm. since this is like a cast steel or whatever, it can actually eat the... Yeah, we've rented those. We've rented different things like that, and it's just all sh it's just metal filings and shredded and pretty messed up. So that's a good that's a good tip. In any case, we have this over like I was talking about, and then I have this one pressing up from below, and it needs to press on the actual ball joint itself. So you need to get this centered really well. Okay. So as you tighten this down, it shortens this distance, and the the, the only thing that can give is the ball joint moving up. So on this particular kit and others, perhaps this is a seven eighths. Okay. All right. That's a good tip. Good to know if somebody orders this kit. So you start tightening. Do you want mine with the actual ratchet? Uh, eventually, yeah. But I want to show. So it gets tighter. Ooh. That's a pop. That, that? That's good, actually. Yeah, that's. That means good. it actually started moving. But it probably isn't out. No, it's not out. Okay, it's not out. We're just pressing it. The first pop is the one that scares a lot of people. This is actually going really smoothly. I shouldn't say that out loud. Ah, you're good. But as you can see, let's, before we take this apart, as you can see, this is now up inside the hole in the Jeep. So, okay, okay, this is really important when, when, you're, when you're picking this. It has to be the right size, right? It can't be too big and it can't be too small. It's got to be big enough to go around it but small enough diameter, right? That it's not hitting. Well, it has to be small enough to fit in this hole, yeah, but it also exactly. has to be on this particular one, it has to be small enough to actually contact the, the flat-ish part of the ball joint down this, oh, on man, this bottom side. Nice. Boy, that was a great piece. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. That was awesome. So, uh, on a side note, let's just show it to them right now so they know. This is the... From Advance Auto Parts. This is a rental tool. If you buy it, they charge you like $257 for it. Whew. So you're really gonna want it. If you go and give them a deposit of $257, whatever it is. So. This part right here is that part. Oh, okay, got it. It doesn't come in my cheap kit, but it comes in the expensive kit. Yeah. It's the same price that way, basically, if you just decide not to bring it back. Yeah, you, you, you buy it. it and then you get a refund when you return it. If you want as to. long as everything is in there, is, is in there and not <laughs> broken. Yeah, so maybe take a quick pick. Make sure that uh, whoever had it before you did put everything back and did not break it. That's probably a good idea. And so you, don't get, you don't get blamed for it. We're going to play with this when we're putting it back together. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you see how that's like wider on one side than the other? Whoa, it's beveled. yes, it is. Thinner here. Wider in the back. Yeah, wider down by my thumb and yeah. narrower here. Wow. That is needed, well, needed for putting the upper ball joint back in. Really? So I really want to buy that kit, but. You do, but. But I've never done this before, and I don't know if I'll ever do it again. No. So do I buy a kit that I can borrow for free? Well, yeah, essentially. I do. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> well, and you you found a part that works. You, yeah, look at that. That's what that's what we're going for. See how much you had to slide that out? You see how it's kind of rusty in there too? Yeah, you'll never get that without proper tools. Never. So that's the upper. Okay, sweet. Now the lower is different. It presses down. So we have to assemble or find all the right pieces. Maybe, maybe not. That is not wide enough, is it? Is it? Or is it? Oh, maybe it is. That's wide enough, I guess, and not too wide. I know. I think that actually is right. Because that should be the same. They should be the same diameter as the upper and lower, right? Not necessarily. You don't think so? Oh, I thought they would be. Okay, well. No, I think the bottom one is different. I think this tool's worth posting. You know, sometimes we post links to stuff, and sometimes we don't. 
Like if it's just junk, we'll tell you it's garbage and we, we don't use it. I, I think this one's not bad. There might be some missing parts maybe, but this is, this doesn't seem bad to me. I think we'll post it. Actually, I'm gonna eventually want this around here. Okay. Oh, all the way back. Okay, I got you. So it's against the... Oh, right, because it's spinning and spin that way. We're turning it that way. Okay. Now, this was like, like I thought, the, the in-between one. Not... So right now, this is very tight. So I'm going to... It's very tight, I meaning you, you've, you've applied a lot of pressure. Yeah, I don't want to... It's pinching quite a bit. It's, it's putting a lot of pressure here. But I don't want to strip moved. out my threads. Yeah, yeah, it didn't okay. didn't make a pop like the other one and So it hasn't moved. So sometimes that, that shock of smack of the hammer, you don't often get to bash your vehicles with a hammer. I do it almost every time we make a video, Jake. I don't know if that moved. Nope. Dang it. Hmm. Oh, there, did you see that drop down? Nope. Did you see that? I did it. We saw it. Don't worry. Yeah, that just dropped down flush. That definitely did it that time. Okay. That's what we were talking about. You said that the right pop with the, the right pressure and it just ping. Yeah, so you don't have to just keep applying endless amounts of tons of pressure. Oh, that's pressing right on out of there. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's practically out. It really is practically out. Yep. Nice. So I took it apart using only parts from this cheap kit and this socket that is now stuck in there and this socket that I had laying around. It doesn't have to have that size hole. So just a nice size socket that's small enough to... Oh, I <laughs> broke it! <laughs> that was that, wow, that was about... That's about as close to out as you can get. That was pretty good. Just a socket that fit, would fit Through in this hole. hole. Yeah. Would probably do the trick as long as you, it's short enough that you can do what you're doing. Yeah, so really now like we've got this way too loose lower ball joint out. Way too loosey goosey. So I'm going to take a few minutes to clean these holes up a little bit. Okay. And then we'll press the new ones in. Press the ones in. Sweet. All right. We're making progress. Uh, by we, of course, I mean him. Okay. So we're going to start with the lower. Pressing them back in. And we're pressing it back in. So it's going up from the bottom. So on the top here, I have just a cap. So this has something to push against since there's a hole there. And down here, I actually have a cup and a cap and the cap has a big hole in it. So as we're pressing, if, if it's needed, the stud of that ball joint can go down through the hole. When I did the other side earlier today, yeah, how did you do that? I, I had to crank until it was like, I couldn't turn it anymore and I had to hit this and then it would get loose and I had to hit it and hit it and hit it. Really? So this is going together really smoothly compared to the other side, but I don't know if we're done. Cause we're filming this side. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I don't know how to tell that. Until it snaps off my, until it breaks this off. Oh, is that where you go? Oh, well, that's easy. Then you back it off a quarter turn. Quarter turn. Hence the name Dr. Torque. Torque until it breaks and just back it off a quarter turn. Did you get it? Sure looks like it. Yeah, it is. Because look, that back side's flush. See, the back side's flush. That side and this side's raised a little bit. And the actual important part is that this part here is against the... The Jeep oh, knuckle. that's the ring. Knuckle. Okay, so it really does have a stopping point. Yes. So that looks tight, and that looks like it matches. Yep. And we're good, right? Does that look good to you? Yeah. That one looks way fancy. Done! So, I made sure that, at least for now, the holes for the cotter pin are that way. So we can put the new cotter yeah, pin in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Without fighting with that. Well, we're yeah. going to have something right here, so... We can't get in easily here. We There's can't like that's like the all. only option because you can't go front to back. You can only go side to side. And even though that bracket's in the way, you, you don't have any other choice. Okay, this is actually a really good opportunity to take a look at what we're talking about. We go through all these things like our angles around and messing it up. And but this is a, you can really see here what the problem is. So this has to go down in at the right angle. And so if you're just pounding on that top, you don't really know whether this piece is set right so you might get it down there might be crooked and you can see how this down here even though that's angled 
is creating a, a flat surface here. Is, is that, am I explaining that right, you think? Yeah, basically. We're making it so we're pushing the, this direction into you know something that's more yeah. flat. We're, we're causing it to go this. This is really exaggerated, but yeah, and we're it basically gives, gives the clamp shoving a it this direction-ish. Yes. Yeah, and it gives the, it gives the, the clamp a, an actual flat surface instead of an angled one, so I like it. So do you see it moving? Yeah, that's definitely a smaller gap than it was. So you know earlier when I had that ball joint and I was going blah, 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 moving it all over? Yeah, yeah. This is oh. what a new one is like. I can't, <laughs> there, Holy there we go. Wow, that is way tight, yeah. That's an improvement, so that's good. That uh, was needing to be fixed on top of everything else that needed to be fixed. Now we can start putting it back together. This is the exciting part. Start to feel like we're like okay, let's let's get this let's get this going. And or, what am I forgetting? Should yeah. I be putting this on yet? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Not in the bottom. Oh, biscuits. <laughs> and the ratchet is not ratcheting. So you got to do it all like a caveman. Like a dang caveman. Just like how cavemen used their three-quarter inch sockets. <laughs> exactly. And now the top one, it was so pesky before. All we gotta do is line it up though, and it's like a piece of cake. So, is it lined up? The... Unless it's actually what I want. If that's the case, that whole thing is no fair at all. That's definitely on there. Oh, dude, you are so close. Back it off. Just a scotch. I know what to do. If you feel like it. I'd... Now we got that in the right direction for it to not suck quite as much. Look at you, you little jerk. <laughs> what do you think of my drift? Oh, that was nice. There we go. That is a little baby one. Compared to the other Look side. Look at all those burn spots. That's where they welded it. Yeah. Now this is where... Oh, look at, oh, is that all the way in? Nice! Is that it? Dude, well done. So, the hub and bearing are all one unit. I bought Timken. There'll be a link in the description, probably. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, save you time from having to sort around stuff. I love links in description. When somebody has a part that I need, I mean, it's so much nicer just to go in there and click, there it is. And this, of course, is why he bought these, so he didn't have to take those apart. That was the whole reason. Well, not really. If I was going to take it apart, I wanted to put new bearings. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's the real reason why I did it. Look at that baby. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that again. <laughs> Keep looking at it. <laughs> Intermediates. Okay, and the shiny, shiny part. It's even got oil from the wrapping stuff. <laughs> there was a guy that I was watching do one of these yesterday, just to like you know get more, more views in, kind of a thing. Yeah. And he kept saying Jimmy Jam. Jimmy? I'm gonna do the Jimmy Jam. This is the Jimmy Jam that. And the Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Jam. That's a lot. I almost posted that somebody had told me to. Take a shot every time he said Jimmy Jam in the video, and I just woke up in the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> That's Somebody might funny. think that was mean spirit. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, yeah. So, just so you know, if you're thinking about posting a comment for us, it doesn't bother us at all. Don't bother me at all. You can even poke fun at me. I, I really don't mind at all. In fact, if you're willing to take the time to do it, I'm used to it. If you're willing to take the time to post a comment or, or thumb up or thumb down, Go for it. We'll have, we'll have we might have some fun. We might have some fun with it though. That's oh, good. We we're getting close, and that's good because the sun's getting real low, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> big guy, you talking to somebody? Hey, that's from that's from a movie. Okay. It was a really weird part. I was we were talking about the Incredible Hulk, Hulk earlier, and, and it the came Hulk? to mind. The Hark, the Incredible Hark. That way we're not copyrighted. So we are, except for the wheels, about wrapped up with this. So this was a number of things. This wasn't one thing, but would you recommend 
that if somebody's changing part of this, they just go ahead and change both of them. I think we we kind of felt like that was the case, huh? Yeah, I mean, the lower ball joints were definitely worn. Um, so it was good. It wasn't that much more work to do it. I'd never done it before, so I got to learn a little bit. Yeah, that's really cool. And now you know how to do it too. So we're gonna call it right here. Check out another video on this. We've got, what, like three or four now? I don't even know. It's this an ongoing be, project. Yeah, this, will, this is probably fifth, maybe? Fifth I don't maybe. know. I don't know. We'll put some links I at the end. Know. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We love you. Post a comment or something. You know, that's cool. We'll take you out the fish bump of friendship. We'll bow. Trying to impress the pistons. Sure. <laughs> impress the pistons. Here. Hopefully you can see the camera. I'm just guessing <laughs> at the direction that it goes. Because... I'm over here and the camera's down there. Oh, hey, I already brought these tools over. Look at all this green. Man, you're a green. You are green, aren't you? No one to tell you, you, you haven't gone green. Yeah. Take that, Al Gore. <laughs> Thank you, Easter Bunny. That's Joel might be like, what the crap kind of an angle is that? I can't see anything. This whole, this whole video is garbage. <laughs> it's so much junk. Cut that out, Joel. Cut uh, Gotta get back up. I'm doing it. Uh, you know what? This, this way. This way is better for sun. Okay. You see how much work we put into getting these shots, Joel? See junk, you. Jake. Junk. Is that how we refer to your channel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. You go too far, sir. And okay. Cut. That's, that's a wrap, everyone. <laughs> Good job. Where's the craft services table? <laughs> that's a great question. What? Wait, what is that?